Pretendo is a replacement for the 3DS and Wii U online servers, which shut down in early 2024. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get it set up on your 3DS. Before I begin, I just want to mention that this tutorial is for educational purposes only. Anyways, I'm Anton, and let's get started. This guide works with every 3DS and 2DS model, as long as it has custom firmware. And make sure that your 3DS is updated on 11.17.0. But if it has been updated past this, check the pinned comment or the description to see if the tutorial is still relevant. And you must be connected to the internet. And I recommend that you have the latest version of Luma 3DS. You can check for new updates and update it within the Universal Updater by typing in Luma 3DS. And select the boot.firm option. Also, alternate firmwares may have issues with Pretendo, so that's why I recommend you use the official one. You can also download it through the official GitHub, which you can find on my website down below. You'll need a device, as long as it has an SD card reader or an external adapter. And your SD card needs to have at least 20 megabytes of free space available. If you happen to have FTPD set up, feel free to use that as well. Now, power off your system, and remove the SD card and place it into your computer. Then, go into the website in the description and click on the Pretendo Nimbus button. Scroll down and click on the combined zip file. Once it's downloaded, extract the folder however you'd like. And then drag and drop the CIAs and Luma folders into your SD card. Press yes to merge and replace the files. Once it's been completed, go ahead and eject the SD card and place it back into your system. Now we're going to ensure that the enable game patching and enable loading external firms and module settings are activated in the Luma 3DS's configuration menu. Hold select and the power button, then enable game patching and loading external firms and modules. Then press start to save and you'll boot into the home menu. Next, open FBI. Go to SD, then CIAs, then Nimbus.CIA. Scroll to Install and Delete CIA, and press A to confirm. Once it's finished, press any button, and then press Home to exit FBI. It should now notify you of the new software, so go ahead and unwrap it. As you can see, Nimbus the Pretendo Account Manager has been installed. Now we can open the app. And here you'll see two large buttons. And tap the Pretendo button to change the server. It will take some time to switch. Now while we wait, if you're finding this video helpful so far, be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button as it always helps out. And once you're back on the home menu, everything should be in working order. Then, launch a supported game. I'm gonna open Mario Kart 7. If everything was done successfully, you should now load into the online menu. Some features are still in development, so not everything will work 100%, but you can totally play online Mario Kart here, and it works surprisingly well. It's just that there aren't many people playing online, so it does take a while to queue up. So that's why you're seeing this footage on my main 3DS, but hopefully the user base will continue to grow. But it's not just about playing games online, as you're actually able to make a Pretendo Network ID, which acts as a secondary account on the same system, as Pretendo is taking advantage of an unused feature, which allows support for multiple local accounts. Some games may require a Pretendo Network ID for certain actions, such as eShop purchases, but the only known game which requires a PNID for general use is the Nintendo Badge Arcade, which is not yet supported. But you cannot use your Nintendo Network ID username as your Pretendo Network ID username. And at the time of making this video, I was able to join the Pretendo Christmas Public Beta, which allowed me to test a bunch of features. But things may have changed by the time you're watching this video. And once your Pretendo Network ID is fully set up, you can sign into Miiverse, which has been completely revitalized, 
and there's a bunch of different communities for different games, as well as a homebrew community. And if you go to the Pretendo website, you can even create an account, which by naming it the same as your Pretendo Network ID, you can actually link them together. Although some of the information kind of broke with no way to edit it as of right now, so it's something that's still in development, which is why I recommend not using it right now. And eventually, there'll be better ways to link the Pretendo Network ID on your 3DS to the website account, so there's still things that need to be worked out. But this meme maker is pretty cool. But a huge shout out to everyone involved in this project. And it's a great way to preserve the legacy of the Wii U and 3DS systems. As it's really impressive. And of course you can find the Pretendo website on my website down below. To check out the progress of the project. Including everything that's currently supported. But anyways, that's about it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it and if you did, make sure to enable that like button. And subscribe as it always helps out. What are your favorite 3DS games to play online? And what tutorials do you want to see in the future? Well, let me know, and I will see you in the next one.